guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts, back for more education on QuickBooks Online. We like to bring information to you that is brought no other way. You cannot learn this information in college. You cannot learn this information through QuickBooks. Um, you learn it on the every day, and that's what I've been doing for a long time. And I want to share the knowledge with you. Today we're going to talk about a subject that happens quite often. It's when your accounts receivable is negative. Uh, what does that mean? So you're looking at your balance sheet and you see that your accounts receivable is negative. Basically what it means is that you're receiving, in, uh, you're receiving payments for, from your vendors, but you're not attaching to an invoice. Most likely the invoice is either still open or there's no invoice at all. So how to fix that is what we're going to talk about today. All right, so without much further ado, we're going to go straight to QuickBooks Online. And here it is. My friends, here it is. Okay, so this is the accountant view as you always, as you, you always, we always work, right? But as you know, you can switch back and forth and you can get to the same exact Place. So we're going to go to reports. Reports is right under here under business overview. All right, so we're going to scroll down and we're going to go accounts receivable aging details or you can go to aging summary as well. Either one is going to give us the same information. Uh, I will use, however, the aging details. Okay, because it gives me a little bit more detail on that one. Okay, so if you scroll down, you see that uh, payments or accounts receivable between uh, 31 to 60 days, I have some negative, it says past due, but negative amounts, okay? So that means that I receive payments for those guys, and see I put all for the same date, and this is a sample account, that's not real, <laughs> our um, famous sample account. And you know, it's all for the same date. I put different amounts and it's all negative. How did I do this, Claudia? Like I said, if you receive payment for a client, so uh, we're gonna select any client here. Uh, let's see, cool cars. There's no invoice for this client, right? And I just received payment on that date. So I'm going to put a set different amount, let's say $600, uh, we're going to save and close. Okay, this is what causes the negative accounts receivable because I recorded that, that I received payment from this client, but I didn't attach to an invoice, okay? So now I have four transactions, see, with a negative amount. So now we're going to go to how to fix it. Okay, first I'm going to duplicate my page here. I love to duplicate it because we can go back and forth with the information, right? I put it all for uh, July 1st, so it makes it easier for me. So, and what we do is we create an invoice for these customers for those dates, and it's going to apply it. So if I do the plus new here, I'm going to create an invoice, okay? and I am going to put the name of the customer. I'm gonna put the first one as Kusk, uh, no, uh, Amy's, Amy's uh, Bird Sanctuary is July 1st. Uh, we're gonna do whatever product, let's say design. Um, and it, it was for 300, so I'm, I'm just gonna put $300 here. That's okay. All right, so the date here is very important because this date here has to be for the same date as the negative amount or prior to it, not after, okay? So we have everything here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna save it. Look what happened. We apply an existing credit to this invoice by $61. That's not what I want. Oh, it's because she already had an invoice, okay. All right, so $61. Um, and then I still have a payment to, to be made, but uh, to be made on this invoice. But that's going to take away, and the reason why, let me actually fix that invoice, is because she had already a payment 
uh, I'm sorry, an invoice that was outstanding. So if I go back to the invoice that I created, I'm gonna go to the counter clock here. I'm gonna fix it because I just want this to be for the 63, let's see, $61, yes, just $61. I don't need, I don't need $300, okay, because that was partially paid already, okay. All right, there you go. Now if I, uh, now I have no balance. That, that's the reason why I did that is because I don't want any balance left on the invoice, right? I just want to cover this. So this one is 350 and um, I don't think there is any payment. No, no, no. So the, the, I'm sorry, there's, there's not, no invoice for this one. So, so it's Duke's basketball camp so we're gonna go ahead and do a plus new invoice july 1st so duke's basketball camp uh we're gonna so 300 that's why i, I like to have this uh, extra tab see that so 350 okay so we're gonna select the product um, i can put design again three hundred and fifty dollars and that's it I'm gonna save now it says three hundred and fifty see that because that's what it was pending there was no invoice outstanding invoice when um, this overpayment was created so now if I click out of here you see that 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 is all gone it's all gone now I just have the five hundred six hundred I'm gonna use my other tab here and I'm gonna create oh by the way it's still showing over here because I haven't refreshed the page. We are using two different pages, okay? So I'm going to use this page now. So I'm going to do an invoice. And uh, the name is Diego Rodriguez. Oh, by the way, like I said, this is no... If there is a Diego Rodriguez out there, this is not nothing to do with you Diego Rodriguez this is just a simple account this is just a simple name okay so it's five hundred dollars here July 1st um, I'm gonna select let's see if they have service oh. service 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 gardening okay design okay five hundred dollars see that five hundred July 1st customer invoice and I'm gonna save this. And there it is, we applied the 500, I fixed it. If I X out of here, now I only have one, see that? Now I go to the other page, I have two here because it didn't refresh because I'm using two tab. I'm gonna create the last invoice on this one. And it's for cool cars. That's the one we created together. That was the error. So I show you the way you should not do it, okay? As far as the receiving payment goes, you have to make sure that you either, if you have an invoice, you receive a payment from the invoice, you record the payment on the invoice, or if you don't have an invoice, you, you can create a sales receipt. But you, if you just receive payment without attaching to a, an invoice, it will create an error, which is that negative accounts receivable. All right, so we're gonna do service here again. I service right here six hundred dollars and the date is correct on the first school cards we're gonna save and yay <laughs> okay so now I have no more negative amount on my accounts receivable all right so if I if I run my reports here I go to my balance sheet um, I have no negative accounts receivable because uh, sometimes or you can click here if you had any negative accounts receivable you can click there and you would see like a negative amount like here there's some but it's because uh, it's a payment to an invoice you can check you can click on the transaction it's gonna open up and the one thing you're gonna check is the amount that was paid, if there was an invoice attached, everything looks fine here, and the date of the invoice that cannot be, be after 
the payment date. So everything is good with this one. So it's a negative because it's a payment, but it's towards this invoice over here. So that's fine. The same thing with the 226.75. So as long as you know it's a positive, negative, positive, negative means uh, create an invoice, receive payment. Um, so it's positive when you receive it. Oh, okay, yes, I'm happy with QuickBooks. <laughs> so let's X that out of here. Okay, so the main thing is that you don't want the accounts receivable to be negative and how you you can see sometimes on the balance sheet or sometimes you can see when you run your account or who owes you accounts receivable aging details okay so if you see here that there is a negative amount on an invoice it means that there is no invoice attached you receive payment without the invoice um, and you need to create an invoice for that if it is an amount that is uh, more than the amount on the invoice what you do is that you will go into the invoice and correct the amount of the invoice so I'm just gonna open this invoice here so I would just adjust the, the amount over here if the payment was for more okay so that's the one thing so and you can do it so here I can I can put $800 so it's just gonna say that my balance is gonna be high okay all right uh, so it's going to apply the original payment because it's still a pending payment on this invoice. Okay, so it's just increase here. See that? But if I had like a negative amount on this invoice it, and I, I did it for the exact amount of the negative amount, it would just fix it. If it was associated with the invoice that was for less than what you received. You would also see uh, this amount on the profit and loss under unapplied cash payment means that you receive payment for more than um, either you receive payment for more than the invoice was due or the second uh, the second item that would create that error is if the date of the payment is for after the date the date of the payment is for after the date of the invoice QuickBooks is just saying you receive the oh, the other way around I'm sorry the other way around the date of the payment is for prior <laughs> prior than the invoice date so what QuickBooks is saying is that hey at this date you didn't have an invoice you received the payment in but that's you know that's not applicable to this invoice because this invoice you didn't you didn't earn this money until later on or you didn't create this invoice until after the payment was received so that's what creates that error I think we covered that on another video but today I just wanted to cover with you if you receive payments that had no invoice associated with that so if you have any question on, on this hey give um, uh, write down below um, and if you like this video give us a thumbs up and I'm gonna go back here yay I'm back back <laughs> so if you like this video give us a thumbs up give us some love <laughs> we like to come back every week every week with new subjects uh, new ways to uh, to solve problems that you may see it on a daily basis on a monthly basis with your clients or with your own books and you don't know how to fix it and you're looking for a solution on how to fix it and there's nothing out there you go to college to try to find out how to fix it professors don't know how to fix that because <laughs> they don't know the program so well so that's why I come to you with answers to your daily questions of problems that you may face every day so if you like this just give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so we can bring continue bringing this information to you every week and if you like it share with your friends share with your family share with the world <laughs> so that we continue to do this um, through the years thank you so much for spending this time with me today i hope to see you again next week but until next time keep on smiling